I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to sew an adorable cotton summer top that will fit 10 inch dolls like Skipper. That's about 25 and a half centimeters tall. Before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com to download this free printable PDF sewing pattern. Use the pattern to cut out all the pieces shown here. Use the pattern to mark each front piece with darts. I'm using a Dritz fabric pencil and they work well. So both darts on both bodice fronts. I'm using contrasting thread here for your benefit. It's white. That way you can see my stitches. Trim away any extra fabric from the darts you've sewn and lay one bodice front on top of another. Keep right sides together. It does matter in, in this case because of the darts. Now sew around the neck and both underarm areas. Here's a closer look at my stitches so you really know what I mean. Clip all of these underarm and neckline stitches, but be careful not to cut through the seams. That's what I'm doing here. Invert the bodice front. Now I like to use a chopstick to help me invert, as you'll see here. And when you're doing the straps, it helps to kind of turn the chopstick as you push through to invert them. Once inverted, press the garment front. Set one of the bodice backs on top of another. Again, keeping right sides or pretty sides together. Stitch the underarm area and then the whole back closure including the neck. Here are a few close-up images of my stitches so you get a feel for what I mean by the back closure area. Once it's all stitched it will look like this. Follow these sewing directions for both of your backs. Clip the seams and the corners. Invert each of the backs. Once again, I use a chopstick to help with this. Press all seams. Lay one of the backs on top of the front. Once again, keep your right sides together. Stitch across the shoulder strap, joining these two pieces. Follow the same steps to attach the other back. Remember to keep those right sides together. Your garment pieces are attached at the shoulder now looks like this. Open up the garment like you see here and press the shoulder seams. This flattens them out. You may want to use some fray check also. This will keep the raw fabric edges from fraying over time. Now fold one of the bodice backs against the front And stitch from the underarm to just shy of the hem. I've stopped two centimeters from the front's raw edge. That's about one and a half inches from the front's raw edge. Now fold the other back down against the front. Again, keep your right sides together. And stitch this side seam part way as well. Now let's close off the bodice front's raw edge by folding these edges inside the bodice 
front and this is making a sort of a heart shape. Whip stitch along the fold right along the bottom of the bodice front. Make sure your backs and front match up in length. You still have an unfinished side seam at this point, so let's finish sewing those. Turn your garment right side out. Add snaps or velcro as a closure. And now you're ready to try it on your doll. Skipper is so fun to make clothes for. For more free printable sewing patterns for making doll clothes for dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos and my free patterns, please share them on social media. It actually helps my website grow when you help spread the word.